The Department of Defense has issued a new strategy that seeks to guide DOD's investment, engagement and policy development related to the defense industrial base in the next three to five years. Navy Secretary Carlos del Toro has called on Nicolas Gertin, Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Research Development and Acquisition, and Vice Admiral James Downey, head of Naval Sea Systems Command, to perform a comprehensive review of the service branch's shipbuilding portfolio. Colonel Mark Shoemaker, commander of Space Launch Delta 30, also known as SLD-30, has outlined four strategic objectives for 2024 and beyond to align the unit's priorities with the U.S. Space Force's assured access to space mission. Nationwide IT Services has won a potential five-year, $149.6 million task order from the U.S. Air Force for support services to the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for acquisitions. The design and security of information technology systems should take into greater account what end-users need, what motivates them, how they behave and what their abilities are, according to a new guide document released by the National Science and Technology Council. The Enterprise Business Systems Convergence Project Management Office, also known as the EBS CPMO, within the U.S. Army's Program Executive Office Enterprise Information Systems is set to release later in January a solicitation for the Technical Management and Advisory Support Services contract. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency is soliciting proposals for a new program to acquire commercial GEOINT data products and services from multiple vendors to boost the agency's analytic capabilities. Procentric's Chief Growth Officer Council recently participated in an interview with the Potomac Officers Club, in which he discussed his career background, highlighted his core values and offered his insights on today's government contracting landscape. Join Potomac Officers Club's 10th Annual Defense R&D Summit on January 31, 2024. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. The Department of Homeland Security Science and Technology Directorate has selected the University of Alaska Anchorage to lead a consortium of U.S. academic institutions for a new Arctic Center of Excellence. The Department of Commerce's Minority Business Development Agency and NASA will conduct outreach efforts to facilitate the participation of minority and underserved businesses in scientific discovery and aerospace technology development under the terms of a memorandum agreement signed in December.